Hey YouTube. Alright, so I own a couple of Invicta watches and recently um, I had a problem with my uh, the band on my Sub Aqua uh, Noma 4. Uh, the model number is uh, 16141 on this particular watch and as you can see it has these metal pieces that are spread out throughout the band when you turn the turn it sideways you'll see that there's inside these little holes there's little screws um, and so I've done some <laughs> A lot of looking on uh, line trying to figure out how to get those little screws out um, as a matter of fact I couldn't and so um, this is part of my old band I just ended up it was brittle so I ripped it apart and uh, just took them out um, so those are garbage and uh, these upper pieces were kind of easy because you could spread these apart um, and just uh, go ahead and put them back in fairly easily. But this one, these last two <laughs> that are in the band um, are more difficult. Now this is a, hopefully I can get this without too much of a glare. Um, this is a Victison for Invitica Sub Aqua Silicone Invicta Watch Strap. Model number is uh, X001TUQN2P. And it's running for about 28 bucks on Amazon at this point. Um, so, with that in mind, I have been sitting around. Um, turning these <laughs> um, with a screwdriver. Now inside the box this is what you get. You, you get a, uh, a buckle with the clasp piece as well um, and you get the uh, spring that goes in there. Now I used the one from the old Invicta watch because it was a lot heavier and a lot nicer and I liked it more. So I went ahead and used that. The other two pieces you get in there are number one a standard screwdriver and my dog walked in and is sitting behind me and panting right now so if you hear a weird noise that's what it is. Um, anyway you get a standard screwdriver and then they give you this which is actually pretty handy. Um, so on your watches you have a, a, a spring loaded piece and I don't know if this is too small it's going to be seen in the video or not but anyway this disables you to reach in and pull down on the spring and get the piece out um, it's basically a standard screwdriver with a V cut into it as you, hopefully you can see that anyway and then this side's just a push rod for uh, being able to uh, push the pins through. Now this, I didn't have this earlier, but this would have come in real handy on this watch where I had to uh, push the rods through. Um, I actually just used another piece of metal and was able to push them through that way, but um, this would have been real handy for this guy. So, <clears throat> um, and let's see, Captain America here uses the same uh, screw method uh, probably that I'm about to show you that I figured out last night. Um, so these are the, on this band there's two missing pieces. And here's one of them and here's the other one. Uh, these little guys have given me no end of headaches. I've been trying to figure this out for about a week. Um, I've screwed them on both ends, I've used the screwdriver on both ends. I've taken my pliers and and held them and uh, tried to unscrew them. And last night I was 
looking at another YouTube video that had nothing to do with this particular watch or watch band and I came up with an idea um, so here's what I did I thought well I've pulled on them, I've pushed on them, I've done everything but I haven't tried just a good old leverage so I grabbed onto it using these and I that one that's the one I did last night sorry let me do this one because it takes a little more pressure than that to get these guys out all right so once you get a hold of them you just kind of pry it back let's see I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not but um, let's see Pry in the downward position. There we go, and it dropped right off. So these are held in to place through pressure. Um, I tried just using my pliers and pulling straight away, and that didn't work. So then to put them back in, you're going to have to push really hard to get them to go back in. But they're a pressure mount, so. If you have one of these watch bands and you're frustrated, <laughs> this might be the answer for you. Is uh, You're going to have to get these things out by pulling them apart. Anyway, hope that helps somebody and good luck to you.